What is good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Kempel with Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. Yes, I am still here in sunny Scottsdale. Summer in Scottsdale is very hot. I'm loving it, though, but I wish you could see the background. It's absolutely beautiful. We have a really special guest with us here today. She's really kind of our, our, we align on a lot of different things and how we view life. She is a non-diet and emotional eating expert. She also has had over 70 guest appearances on radio and the author of Kitchen Express, Good Food Fast for Real People with Real Lives. Please welcome Dee Walk. Dee, thank you for joining us today. Can you please introduce yourself and tell the audience a little bit about your background? Well, thank you for having me. Um, when you ask about a background, Background really starts in childhood. Yeah, absolutely. And yes, it does. And my parents were were very uh, busy people. My father was nationally known. They were really not around much. I was lonely. Um, so I became a storyteller just to get kids to come over and sit on the porch. And I would say, once upon a time, happily ever after. And I didn't even know what I was going to say, yeah. but I got a lot of company. And my mother was a fabulous cook. And we were clock dictated. Hunger was never mentioned in, in our house. And she said, we're having dinner now. And I say, but I'm not hungry. Yeah. But this is when we're eating. So I ate whether I was hungry or not. And if I didn't finish my food, she was very upset. You have to finish your food. There are starving people in the world. If you don't finish your food, you don't get dessert. You can't go out and play. So by the time I was 12, I was overweight. Oh boy. And my mother, which is just like society, she wanted me to eat all her food and more, but she didn't want me to be overweight. So she took me to my first diet doctor. Uh, who gave me a little packet of colored pills. They could have been sugar pills for all I know. Wow. And um, that experience created a pattern in my life. I became a yo-yo dieter. When I say yo-yo dieter, it's because once you go off the diet, you can't keep it off. Yeah. And I blamed it on myself what's wrong with me? I felt like a failure. Sure. So I went to my doctor and I'll never forget this. He looked at me and he said, D, you're a yo-yo dieter. Diets are only a patch, not a fix. Not only that, what's really upsetting is that you could get diabetes, you could get heart problems, you could get other problems okay. with some of your organs from dieting. Yeah. That affects, well, your, that affects your thyroid too. Exactly. Oh, there's so many things. There's yeah. so many things. It blew my mind when he said that. What good? You know, all those years I said, I want to be thinner. I want to be thinner. Yeah. But what good is being thinner if you're not healthy? For sure. Yeah. So I had heard for many years that your body is smarter than you are. So I'm a researcher by nature and I decided that I was going to study the body and the brain Good. and how we are designed to eat. Right. And I was an emotional eater. I ate because I was tired, bored, anxious, stressed. Everybody else was eating. It was time. It was there. It was a holiday, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There wasn't one diet of all the many, many diets I went on that ever helped me with emotional eating or brought it up. So I studied for two and a half years. I can't tell you how simple and achievable it was. There are two hungers. There are, yes, physical body hunger and emotional mind hunger. Oh yeah, for sure. I didn't know what physical hunger really was, but the body, who is smarter than you are, signals you 
when it needs fuel. Yeah. And let me emphasize, the body only looks at food as fuel. Right, absolutely. So when you eat when you're physically body hungry, the body needs that fuel. And it you will eat and burn. Yes. And that's yes. what we want to do. Yes. We yes. want to eat and burn. When you eat emotionally, for all those reasons that I listed, your body says, hey, I don't need this fuel. I'm going to break it down in fats and sugars and store it in your fat cells. So when you eat emotionally, you will wear it. For sure. So I created a system, a number system from zero to 10. Each level tells you how hungry you are. As an example, if you're a zero, you're starved. You'll eat everything on the table and, and more. You don't want to eat when you're that hungry. You no. want to eat when you're in control. Just like, just like if, when you go to the grocery store and you're hungry, you get like you buy too much food. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right. You're right. And there's a, a tip for that. I never go to a grocery store without a list because if I don't make the list, I overbuy. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, because your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Um, and yeah, everything yeah. you're saying, I totally agree. I think that most people are that, that have issues with weight, you know, are, are emotional eaters. I know my, one of my sisters is, you know, and that, that I've never been one because I've always been, I, I'm more of an intuitive eater and I've been able, I've maintained my weight for pretty much my whole life. Maybe I've, go, I've gone up and down 10 pounds, but I, so I'm lucky, but I also, I'm, I'm an intuitive eater. And I think that's kind of what you're what you're offering and what you are teaching people just more on a, on a different scale. But uh, there's a key here. Okay. Nobody really likes to be changed, but a Correct. baby when it's wet. Right. Right. Yes. What creates personal change? You have to want it. You can want to be thinner if you're overweight. But are you ready for what you want? Because it'll take some change. It's not the food. It's how you, your relationship with the food. You have to change your relationship with food without any, you can't have deprivation. And let me just say this. You have a hypothalamus in the back of your brain. And if you're eating that salad, unlimited amount, that your diet says, with diet dressing, which is really yuck. And you finish this whole huge salad and you say, oh my God, I'm so full, I can't move. But what's wrong with me? I still want something. You have to be satisfied with what you are eating. Okay? Agreed. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So I, I have a, um, a system for that that's easily gets rid of psychologically deprivation. So do you, what do you feel, how do you feel about detoxes? Like people that maybe like do like maybe the detox where it's just a, a liquid only um, just to kind of reset their body. I mean, I think that there's some value in that. Do you, is that something that you, that you discuss with any of your clients? No, because what I teach people and what I learned, I lost 49 and a half pounds over wow. 35 years ago, and I haven't gained a pound back. It's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, because I, I eat the way I'm, I was designed to eat. It's, right. it's so simple and achievable. But while I was learning what I was researching, I was establishing a lifestyle that bro brought wellness into my life as a co-pilot. Sure. And that's as important as being thinner. I just want to hold up this for a moment. Yeah, let's see it. This is a Maserati. Oh, you know, okay. You see this? I mean, I got it at Toys R Us. <laughs> and <laughs> well, you can't drive it? I'll, I'll, I'd like to take a test drive in that thing. Unfortunately, no. Um, it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The coloring, the styling, it's gorgeous. Yes. I'm turning it over. Wow. So is it it's empty? empty? Can, you, can, you lift it up a bit? can you lift it's it up a little bit? Yeah, it's empty inside. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's gorgeous piece of equipment. It's empty inside. Can't go forward. Can't suspend itself. That's all of us. Yeah. Because everything has to happen from the inside out. And what is that? That's becoming your own best friend. Absolutely. And when you become your own best friend, you start to take care of yourself. And that has nothing, nothing to do with being egotistical. Agreed. Completely agree. And I think that that's a lifelong journey for us, no matter what, you know, I mean, but when we, when we learn to accept ourselves for who we are and love ourselves and become our own best friends, I feel like that, that when we learn that, cause that's the hardest part is learning that and accepting ourselves. Right. Um, exactly. It is still a lifelong journey, no matter, cause we have, we all have bad days and you just have to remind yourself that, that, you know, you are perfectly imperfect. I like that saying. It's one of my favorites. I like that. Yeah. I actually, Can I use I, that? <laughs> what's that? Can I use that? Of course. Yeah, use it. It's not mine. So go for it. I like it because <laughs> no, it's so true. true. It's yeah. so true. Hey guys, Deanna here. I'm taking a quick break to share an exciting opportunity with you. I have recently partnered with Scotsman. They have created a crowdfunding campaign building 3D printed electric scooters that make transportation smart, elegant, and sustainable. It runs on energy efficient batteries that double as USB-C power banks. And they're swappable too, so you can replace your battery and keep your scooter. Check out their crowdfunding page down below. Hurry and sign up now to take advantage of their early bird prices, 50% off. It has a built-in camera, GPS, live maps, and an automatic lock. So hurry up now, get in on this, go to my special link below, 50% off, and be a part of this really cool campaign. You won't be disappointed. Let's just take the word failure for a moment. Mm -hmm. Most people are so afraid of failure. And they beat up on themselves. Yeah. But failure is a positive tool in life. It teaches you what not to do. Yeah. It does. And what is the biggest cause of stress? The biggest cause of stress is life. Well, yeah. It is. And how we handle it makes the difference absolutely what is the difference between perception and reality i ask my clients this well your perception becomes your reality yeah if you change your perception you change your reality i remember Many years ago, when I first gave the first speech I had to give was in a hotel for 400 Mary Kay salespeople. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people. I was so nervous. So I sat down and I wrote, because I believe in confirmations. Mm -hmm. And I wrote down, I will be fine. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah. I will do this. I can do this. And then I used a visualization. When I walk out on that stage, I'm going to see those 400 women on the potty. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that works, you know. That works. Yeah, I love that. So it's it, it's changing your perception and 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 listen listening to reality. I can do it. I will do it. It's, I'm going to do it. 
Very similar to affirmations, like you can do yeah. daily affirmations, you know, and manifest manifesting the things that you want in your life. Exactly. Exactly. I do this all the time, all the time. So it's not, my mission isn't only to change one's waistline, but to change their life. Yeah. And free themselves from themselves. I love that. I mean, and that, because yeah, if you are, that is like a prison. If you're not able to, if you're repeating same bad behaviors, same bad patterns. And like that's, I mean, for me, being an intuitive eater, like I, I don't have that burden of like, oh my God, counting calories. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, yeah. I mean, my fiance and I had Cinnabon last night. You know, that's not not a great exact, but that was our dessert. We, we no, ate, that's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we ate good all day. And then we're like, oh, you know, he, we went to the mall and did some shopping. And he's like, oh, Cinnabon. So we grabbed, you grabbed something ahead of her. Would you like to know that good for you? Yeah. Would you like to know how you get rid of deprivation? How is that? Yeah. Let us know. I created a room full of gold Ooh. for every one of my participants. Nice. And myself. Okay. Now, as an example, what if you were obsessed with gold, the gold bars? Uh -huh. That's all you thought of morning, noon, and night is getting these gold bars, which could be the Cinnabons. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I come along and I say, I have a room full of gold. You can come into my room yeah, when you want to. But once you're in my room, you only have three minutes. And then you have to leave and you can never come back. What would you do with all those Cinnabons? Um, I definitely wouldn't take them with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're honest. I would probably take a U-Haul because when you're deprived, you can't get enough. That's true. Yeah. But yeah. What if I said to you, I have a room full of gold. Mm -hmm. You can come into my room whenever you need some. Okay. You can come in in the morning, noon, yeah. afternoon, evening, in and out, in and out, whenever you need some, and the quantity will always be replaced. What would you do there? Wouldn't you just take what you need? Yes. Well, I mean, like last I, night you took what you wanted. Yeah. What you needed. Yeah. I, and you I, know I, it's I, there. You yeah. know it's there when you want it again. Yes. I understand what you're, I understand the concept. So it, it helps people with their, their mindset around, you know, like that deprivation that, oh, I can't, I can't have it. I can't have it. Whereas, oh, I can have it tonight. You know, it's my treat and, you know, and you don't feel deprived. So I get it. I like that. That's a good way to think. And, and you know, everybody has different tools and how, how to change their mindset and how they view things and right I, it's it's brain surgery without the scalpel <laughs> yeah i like it <laughs> that's good so before we start wrapping things up d um where can people find you and and um reach out to you if they're interested in working with you i'd love to talk to somebody and i offer a free uh consultation okay um they can talk to me for a 20 minute call Nice. They, they can go to dwoke.com okay. and click on free 20-minute call at the top of the page. Awesome. Fantastic. And I'll put, all, I'll put your link in the show notes so that people know where to find you and reach out to Thank you. Thank you. And um, just how you can help them because you definitely have a great story. And I think that, you know, what you're doing is impactful. But that's something that we are, you know, in, in our society today is very lacking is, you know, um, anything around health and wellness. And, it, you know, we, we are so we are so programmed to get fast food like McDonald's and eat that. And just, you know, it's just not it's not a really good society where we we are aware of like health and wellness and keeping the weight off and just living a balanced life because, you know, people that are emotionally eating, their lives are out of balance. And that's, you know, that they're trying to 
fill uh, an empty void with something that is bad for them. We're digging our grave with our teeth. We're digging our grave with our teeth. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> one. I like that. Oh my goodness. But it's true. It's sad, but it's true. Yes. It really is. Yes. And I want to see people set goals for themselves and believe in themselves. And I, I even created a children's, a family program because I want the family, instead of giving kids these expensive gifts, yeah. teach them how to believe in themselves. Yeah. This is so important. Yeah, I would agree. I think that that's, I think that's a good, um, well, I was gonna ask you, so before we say goodbye, is that you're gonna be your, your piece of advice or wisdom you like to leave with the audience or do you have some other pearls of wisdom to share? Everybody has power within themselves. Make life your only binge. Ooh, yes, that was great. Well, on that note, <laughs> thank you so much for being a guest today. It was a pleasure to talk to you and hear your story and keep impacting people's lives and making that positive change because that's what we're here for is to provide a platform so people can get that positive change they're looking for. As always, you guys, this is your host, Deanna Kempel with Label Free Podcast. Live your best life. You must live label free. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, follow, all those good things. And I'll be back soon with more dynamic guests.